Hmm. Hello. My name is Philip the Fortune Teller. And you have come here to see me today to learn about your future. So let's look at the cards and find out what awaits you. Mm. Oh yes, I can see this. This card means you're going to meet a young, handsome prince. And this prince, mm, he is going to be the love of your life. You're going to marry him. And then yes, yes, yes. Ooh, cards, cards, tell me. He, he, you are going to have seven children. So lucky, you are going to be so lucky. And it's true, because the cards have said so, so it, it must be true, right? You are going to meet a prince. Is this sentence in the past, present, or the future? Well, it's the future. Philip the fortune teller looked at his cards and he predicted your future. He based his prediction on evidence in present. I mean, the cards are the evidence, and that's why we use the grammatical structure be going to. To form sentences with be going to, we use first the verb to be, conjugated, then going to, and then an infinitive. For example, I am going to marry. You are going to have seven children. He is going to be your husband. To make be going to negative, we make the verb to be negative and the rest is unchanged. For example, you aren't going to marry him. She isn't going to be happy. We aren't going to eat out tonight. To ask questions, we use the verb to be as an auxiliary and we follow the as and quasim rule. For example, are you going to tell me? Auxiliary, subject, main verb. Where are we going to sleep? Question word, auxiliary, subject, main verb. When are they going to arrive? Again, question word, auxiliary, subject, main verb. Apart from predictions, we also use be going to for plans. For example, I am going to visit Florence next weekend. It's not a prediction, I'm not speculating about the future, it's a plan. I want to get on a train and go to Florence. Hello, my name is Philip and welcome to today's video where we are going to learn about be going to. Or I could say we are going to go to the cinema tonight. My friends and I really want to see the new film. We haven't booked tickets yet and we're not 100% sure, but we really want to go, so it's a plan. When we pronounce be going to, we often link the going and to together, with the to being pronounced as a weak sound. For example, going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have, I'm going to have seven children. Let's practice this as we look at five more examples of be going to. I'll pronounce the sentences and then you will have a few seconds to repeat after me. Don't be shy. Practicing pronunciation on your own can really boost your confidence. She's going to play tennis this afternoon. It's going to rain tomorrow. And that's a prediction based on meteorological evidence. We're going to fly to Spain next month. You are going to repeat this sentence after me. Well, all right. Philip is going to release another video next week. And talking about pronunciation, bonus fact, in spoken English, we often contract be going to, to gonna. It's a bit of a slang, but it's very, very common. For example, I'm gonna release a new video next week. You're gonna marry a prince. 
And sometimes we even drop the verb to be. For example, we're going to do it now. There's also wanna, want to, they want to get some pizza, they want to get some pizza. And we also use gotta, got to, I have got to go, I've got to go, I gotta go, bye. But all this is a little bit advanced. Of course you can try and pronounce it, but for now focus on trying to recognize it when you hear it. Now it's time to check what you have learned. I'm going to ask you five questions. Click on the video after each question to pause it, then give the answer and then check it. The correct answers are in the description of the video down below. Number one. Does this sentence talk about the past, present or the future? And is it a plan or a prediction? Number two. Can you make the sentence from question number one negative? Number three. Can you turn the sentence from question number one into a question? Number four. Make a prediction based on some evidence in present. And number five. What are your plans for the weekend? Let me know in the comments below. And once you have written your comments, you are... Yes, you are going to like the video and subscribe, so you don't miss my next week's video on future arrangements. That's all from me for today, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.